Hey, we got to drive on the wrong side of the road. Yes. Can you do it? Oh, look at that. Jeez. Yeah, see, this is what happens. Whoa, we got a pedestrian alarm there. Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> you can't go anywhere anyway. Look at this intersection. This is crazy. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck to FSD on this. Wow, that was a hard... Oh, stop for that yellow. Holy crap. This video is brought to you by Joa, maker of premium Tesla and vehicle accessories. Claim your discount by using the link in the description below. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving supervised video. My name is Chris, and we are on the latest version, 12.3.4, going into downtown Ann Arbor on a rainy day. So a little more of a challenge for FSD here with the rain. It's not a ton of rain, but it's at least something. I unfortunately cannot control the weather but I will try to get out at times where we have differing weather because people have been asking, they see the perfect drive, you know, and there's no rain or anything, and they go, well, what about this? And what about this? And that's a natural question. Unfortunately, I can't control a lot of things like the weather or the amount of traffic, uh, but I do my best. So is there huge changes on 12.3.4 versus 12.3.3 or anything? Uh, well, that's hard to say without driving a whole lot. So it's time to go here and very nicely handled. That's a tough intersection. Unfortunately, I don't have the roof cam for you today because of, because of the rain, it usually just gets covered within the first few seconds. And my the way I have it set up, it's not, oh, I need to change this route already. Uh, it's not technically, technically waterproof. Um, so I usually don't put it out in the rain. Anyway, the, there's a couple things I've noticed. Uh, it, it's hard to say for sure if there's like tons of changes or whatever. But the first thing is what you saw right in the beginning of this video and starting off driving, when you are in the hold position, so the car's in drive, but it's in hold, turning on FSD, the car is much better at beginning the drive. Whereas in the last couple of versions, even though they seem like very small updates, you'd turn it on and sometimes the car would go, but sometimes it would just sit there forever or it would take a really long time to start actually proceeding. Now I'm seeing it, I actually had it this morning driving to work, it pulled out of my garage for me and all the way down my driveway and all of that. Um, nice job waiting for these pedestrians. Whereas before, I've had version 12 pull out of my garage, but really slow and timid. All right, now that the pedestrians are out of our way, we'll see if this was a fluke. So old versions, version 11 before, would just stop right here and get stuck. Version 12 is very confident and moves right through there. Awesome to see that repeated. Uh, now, the downtown scenario is always kind of my more challenging thing for FSD. I attempt to find more traffic. I attempt to find difficult intersections or turns or, you know, different things like construction or parallel parking or you know whatever we have to deal with and last time it did everything pretty much perfectly outside of it got stuck at one point and I did put that point where it got stuck back in the route wow that was a hard oh stop for that yellow holy crap that was just my uh <laughs> my uh booster seat back there for my daughter flying forward so uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I just kept going. Now we did stop right on the line and it was a yellow and it did stop for it. There was nobody behind us also. So it wasn't in danger of being rear-ended, but I don't know. That was way too hard of a stop in my opinion. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I did put that part where it messed up last time. But other than that, I am starting to have a harder time finding things that it's messing up. Now, that doesn't mean it never messes up. I hear plenty of things online still where people are finding scenarios, but as the system gets better, it's gonna be harder for one person to consistently find places it's messing up. And that's kind of what I'm starting to run, in, run into, uh, but we'll do our best here. So this drive, it's not a whole lot of miles. I didn't reset this, which I meant to do, so I'm just gonna take it off. Um, this drive is not a whole lot of miles, but it's just kind of like going around the dense packed areas of a downtown. And then I'll have full drives also, which, to be honest, I filmed a full few drives now on different version 12 versions, but a new update comes out before I can post them. So I've had zero intervention. I have one zero intervention drive that was about an hour long. I don't know if I'm even going to post it because it's an older version now. I don't know if anybody cares. Uh, so I'll try to get those out. Like I filmed my drive to work this morning. It was, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. And I pressed the accelerator pedal one time. That's all, I mean, that's the synopsis of that video. It's still a cool video to see, but will I be able to edit it and get it out before another update comes out with all my other stuff? I just, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So really nice left turn there and moving through here. So this is something that always the car used to mess up. It would stay in this left turn lane when it needed to go straight. And we actually saw the last time I was down here, a human did that same thing. They were there in that left turn lane and then they went straight and beta 
FSD slowed up a little bit to um, let them continue going. So we're getting the warnings here that full self-driving may be degraded. That is uh, because of the rain. It doesn't seem to impact it too much on the highway this morning. We did go a little slow due to the rain, but the car handled everything fine. And then near the end, even with the rain, it started to go back uh, to the speed limit, which was nice. So going through this section is usually moderately busy. Of course, in the rain, I wouldn't expect as much pedestrian and cyclist traffic, but that's just kind of what you get. Uh, there's some pedestrians around, but not as many as normal. And it's like, you want a lot of pedestrians and you want it raining, you're probably not gonna get all of the craziness all at the same time. So we should continue moving through here. Just scooch out of the way. Very nice. The pedestrians got a walk signal right as we were passing through there. Awesome job moving around that I don't know exactly what they're doing. Are they coming out of that spot or trying to power a park? Uh, but the car was uh, correctly able to ignore the double yellow and go around them to continue downtown. So we got our green waiting for some pedestrians successfully there. And let's see, as soon as they're out of the way, I'm sure we will. I don't know why that guy's blinking at me. He probably didn't see the pedestrians I was waiting for. <laughs> that's fine um, so I think he flashes lights to tell me to go and it's like well there are some people in my way I can't really go right now so we got our right turn signal on here nicely moving through this right turn and last time it kind of parked here which I thought was fine and it's not doing that this time and I just kind of sat here and then it um, continued on because I didn't edit anything there. So we'll take that out and we'll let the car figure out what it wants to do here. So we'll get to zero. That's that person's right of way, but they're going straight. So the car successfully moves through even though uh, it's their right of way, which is the right thing to do because they were going straight. Older versions, the car may be timid around that. This is usually still a little confusing for the car. Correctly moving over here. Very nice. And then no turn on red. Now, this is interesting because I get a lot of comments and see online people saying no turn on red for them even in version 12 sometimes it's not working and has never worked for them. It's something I used to complain about, but man, it had to be like a year ago at this point, maybe a little less than that. No turn on reds have been successful for me in Ann Arbor and other parts of Michigan for a really long time, in version 11 for, for a long time. And that continues to be the case as you can see here with the version 12. I'm not getting uh, red turns when there's a no turn on red sign. I'm not saying it's impossible for it to happen, but I haven't seen it in a long time. As soon as we get the green, we move forward. So, I don't know. Works well for me. So, I was able to successfully get this left turn in here. This one has always been a problem. The car has successfully made this left a few times, but it's always been super awkward. All right, and that was handled perfectly. So I've had it where cars are oncoming and FSD is just wiggling the wheel and like I've hit the brake there because it was I was just like not confident it was actually gonna stop. And that was handled perfectly. Again, like I keep using the word perfectly, but geez, I mean, it's the best way I can think to describe a lot of these individual maneuvers that used to be weird. So I don't know who's honking. They're probably honking at me. And I couldn't tell which car was honking. Uh, FSZ was definitely too, too uh, timid at that stop, but that blue car to our right was coming really fast. So I'm guessing that FSD just thought they weren't gonna stop because it kind of looked like that to me as well. All right, so we make the complete stop to zero and then we roll through. Yes, beautiful, get out of here. See, FSD's like, oh, somebody honked at me. Now I can't be all timid. <laughs> uh, no, but it did a great job of seeing that it was clear and just moving through. Uh, I still, uh, like this morning, it's hard because it's better than it was, but ooh, let's see how it handles this. Hey, we got to drive on the wrong side of the road. Yes. Can you do it? So construction is something that version 12 has had such a better job with, like this. Oh my gosh. Than, than previous versions. Old versions would definitely at least try to move into this little space where the cone stopped. Now there's a road to our right, so that's why the cone stopped. So if people need to turn in there, they can. But older versions, like as soon as there's any gap in the cones, 
it would try to get over. So sometimes when the gaps and cones were wide in older versions, it would kind of do this thing where it's like almost trying to get into every gap. And so far, this little driving on the wrong side of the road is excellent for V12. We'll let it keep going here and we're going to turn left up here. I don't even know. I've not been here. Um, so I'm not sure if it's open, if we're allowed to turn left or what exactly is going to happen here. Now we do have lead cars and a lot of people point out that these maneuvers can be easier with lead cars, but you can see we're still tripping up a little bit here. So move through. Now that turned red, but we were like kind of in the intersection. Uh, that was a, I don't know how, I feel. I'm going to report it just because it was kind of goofy. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we're back to our correct side of the road here. And FSD wants to get in this left turn lane. Blah, you're close to that car. <laughs> They're pulling up. They're like, get away from me. I mean, it's doing it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just looking more and more to the comments because a lot of these things are so like not super terribly bad, but like maybe off. But then everybody disagrees in the comments too. Like I'm curious about that, that hard stop in the beginning because personally I would have went through. I think that stop was too hard and just go through the yellow. But the car successfully stopped at the yellow. So maybe that was the right move. You stop him for this guy. Wave to the robot. Very nice. And the car is just so perceptive. Oh, we're also at our destination. So maybe that's my bad. But it did also wait for him. All right, let me get that out of here. Sorry, I'm chatting too much. No one's behind me, so I'm just leaving it. And the car continues. So it's really good at as soon as I update that nav, it, like picking up the next one. So we'll turn left here. That person kind of went in front of us, which is fine. And then a pedestrian. Now, I don't know what, why are you going? The person to the left is like driving towards us. I don't know why. So this I would call too timid. We're creeping up here. I can, I mean, we're like almost stopping in the road. So that's still a thing for sure. Um, it seems less common than it was when I first got version 12, but it's still just, that road was wide open in there. The, we just went straight for a pothole there. The road was wide open. We made our complete stop. We creeped up and then just kept creeping and kept creeping. The nose of the, of the car is in the road. Still creeping. <laughs> it's just like, it makes no sense. Um, why is it? it definitely has like a, weird thing when there's zero cars around it's like when there's a car it's like okay i know to stop and wait for them and then i'll go when there's zero cars it's almost like are there actually the fsd is thinking are there actually zero cars or am i missing something like it's second guessing itself when it's completely clear well here's everybody so this is a busy area that person like dr almost drove right into that uh, that car almost drove right into that person. What the heck? That's a, like an old style Waymo. That was weird. So stop sign and then we need to continue. But this is somewhere, this intersection, uh, FSD has gotten stuck a lot because of pedestrians. They just keep walking out and a nice acceleration to get through there. We did get a break in pedestrians, which was great. And then this crosswalk is usually very busy and it's hard because there's cars parked here so you can't see. Now it is seeing this person to the left. Very nice. That was great. Now we're probably going to get stuck here for a while because once somebody goes, a ton of people go. And usually what people do is they just nose their way through in order to get through this. As you can see, people just keep walking. So we'll see how FSD handles it. We're really far from the crosswalk. So basically as soon as we get an opening, which it looks like right after her, we just need to kind of take off. Awesome. Oh my goodness. That is just great. All right, not the most complicated, but this is one of those scenarios that's just tough for FSD. When there's lots of stuff going on, it tends to get stuck at these lights where we don't get an explicit green. So you can see that Jeep ahead is stuck. I'm gonna guess we're not even gonna make this light cycle. We're probably gonna have to go through another light cycle, but let's see. So that Jeep's trying, he's like pushing through and that's what you gotta do. You push through, we're far back enough. I think it's very appropriate for us to stop here and wait, but on the next, on the next light cycle, it needs to go through. There's no, like you get in that intersection once it turns yellow or red or whatever, you finish the move or else you just get stuck here forever. That's just how you have to drive in a downtown area. And this is not even that busy. <laughs> it's not like the craziest downtown you've ever seen. I know it. So we got the green. I love the move up. Yes. 
Yes, assert yourself, get up there. Another thing I've noticed is the turn signals in older versions, when you waited for a really long time like this, the turn signal would kind of turn on and off over and over again. Why are you stopping? Like, what are you, just go, what are you doing? There's no heat, oh my gosh. Uh, and the turn signals are not doing that anymore. They're not turning on and off. Look at this, look at this, yes, go. That is awesome. As soon as it's about to be clear, we don't wait until it's completely clear. We have to start getting that maneuver going right before it's available to us, basically. And the car did great. I'm very happy with all of everything that just happened there. Those slow, I, I know it's not that complicated, but those slow, congested, compact intersections like that used to be just such a, such trouble for FSD. And it seems like it just has so much more like patience and I don't know how to put it, like almost foresight. Like it's like, yes, this is gonna take forever. In really old versions, when you get stuck in stuff like that, the car would actually eventually start to try to go around traffic <laughs> on the other side of the road, even though obvi it's obvious to anyone who's driven for more than two days, that's completely inappropriate. You're waiting for a red light, you just have to wait. But the car would like just get so impatient it would start doing that. Green and go. That person illegally crossed the street. Arrest them immediately. They're trying to screw up my robo taxi. <laughs> but FSD doesn't care. It's just gonna wait for that pedestrian. Really good. Another thing people have been asking me about is curbs. I haven't noticed it getting close to curbs, but uh, besides running over a curb one time on 12.2.3.1, I can't remember, I remember all this stuff. Uh, besides that one time, curbs have been pretty good for me. So it's not something I've noticed too much anyway. All right, so we are on basically the other side. That's where we were before, where it was super busy. This intersection, FSD uh, V12, has done okay here. A little awkward. I like this pulling up. It's pulling up more than it has in the past. Like, this is what I want, so that we're ready to go. Once this turns yellow or red, we legally can complete the maneuver, and that's what we need to be ready to do. You can see this huge trail of cars. We're still scooting up. I love it. Yes. Look at that. It's like, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. Look at this. Holy crap. That was great. Did it turn red? I couldn't, I wasn't even looking at the light. I think it did. And the person behind us went too. Now nah, that was awesome. That, even that one intersection. I've done that intersection, I don't know, three times now on V12. That was the best it's ever done. So it's like already improving on these little nitpicky things I'm having. Again, it's done that intersection three times without me having to help it. But it's been too timid. That time it wasn't. There's a lot of people here, this is great. I didn't think uh, we'd have so many, uh, so much going on with all the rain. But this is, this is, it's been raining here for like three days straight, just like nonstop. But I think, I think we're done with that tonight. All right, stop sign with a bajillion pedestrians. You could probably see the cars are moving through here while pedestrians are in the crosswalk. Guess what? That's technically illegal. You're not supposed to be crossing the crosswalk at the same time as a pedestrian. But when there's this many just constantly going, you kind of have to do it. So FSD is going to have to keep nosing through here, which I think it's going to do. I think we're actually clear right here. And, yep, move up, get in that intersection. This guy's gonna come in front of us from the left, but that's legit. Now we're in the crosswalk, so I'd really wanna be moving up here to get out of people's way. Okay, nice, awesome, awesome. Pushing through, dang, dude, dang, dude. Older versions would just be stuck there. I'm just telling, I'm just, there's just too much going on for older versions. It would just wait and wait and wait and wait. Uh, this is just the perfect mix of scooting through safely but also obviously yielding when it needs to to pedestrians. It's just so impressive. Having done this for years, this is it's just so impressive. Waiting here, getting a wave to the robot. Number two, a little unsure, it's scooting up. That's fine. She was clearly coming for the crosswalk, so that's uh, all good to wait there. We have another crosswalk, it's weird. Why don't you just have one? <laughs> two crosswalks like right next to each other, whatever. And this one doesn't have the crosswalk sign. Yes, look at this assertiveness. It's, it's, it's not super confident because there's still people, even with moving through there, there's people walking towards it, but they're not in the road. You just gotta make do. Like you get that little gap, you gotta do it. That's what you do. So this is another crosswalk that in the past, um, FSD has had to, I've had to push it through because it never moves. There's so many pedestrians coming through here. It never pushes through and I've had to hit the accelerator. So we'll see if we can do it this time. I have, I have confidence it's gonna get it. Oh, look at that. 
Jeez. Yeah, see, this is what happens. That's that guy's laughing. Ugh. So we're stopped way too far back. I would be moving up to, you know, take any gaps I can get. But from the Robotaxi perspective, I understand you don't want to scare anybody. So we're starting to scoot more and more as the car is waiting longer, which is good. Nobody's going to stop. You basically just have to get your nose in there and uh, go. So they stopped on the other side for those cars. Look how backed up that is because of all the pedestrians. Now we're going. So people basically stopped. I'm telling you, older versions just couldn't do it. I mean, we got a little nice there with the guy stopping for us, but still. Uh, okay, so this is where it screwed up before. It basically thought this was a right turn lane or something. It's already handling it better. Oh, no, don't do it. No, don't do it. You're messing up. Oh, you're fixing. So I'm going to report that because obviously why are you scooting over there? It's like basically in the bike lane right now. And it did it correctly. So for this right turn, we're two out of three. Two times it's done this right turn correctly. One time it got stuck there. That was the last video. Every time it's kind of weirdly moved through there. So. Whoa, we got a pedestrian alarm there for somebody on the sidewalk. The car didn't react in any way in terms of its speed or anything, but it alarmed. That was strange. It almost seems like those systems are disconnected. Like that system's for me. <laughs> and FSD doesn't care about uh, that type of alarm. Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> you can't go anywhere anyway. Okay, I mean, whatever, that's fine. We're, we're not in anybody's way. We did help move up the flow of traffic. This inter Look at this intersection. This is crazy. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck to FSD on this. Okay, we'll make our complete stop to zero. This is our last turn here. And this is uh, another one of those intersections that I've kept in here because it's just always so busy with... Mostly it's the pedestrians that are the problem. They just never stop. And it's hard for cars to get through here. As you can see, we've been waiting even to get up to the stop line. And FSD, I did change the, the route this time too, so it will move through here. Last time I kind of screwed that up. But we are going to make a left turn here and move through. So this is a tough left turn because you have to deal with the cars and the pedestrians. So after this red car, we should go. Do it, do it. Nope, people walk in front of us. But after those people, you got to start to go. More people. It's the pedestrians, they just don't stop here. I'm not going to lie, that message is kind of annoying because it just keeps popping up. It's like, yeah, I know, you've said that ten times. That guy just, like, ripped off everyone's turn. People from the left continue to go, even though it's our, it's our turn, like, stop sign-wise. But what are you going to do when I'm sitting here waiting for pedestrians? And they're going to, they, you know what, they waited a bit, and then they were like, fine, we're going to go. All right, after this running guy, this is it. Go. Nope, we have another pedestrian coming. Oh, boy. All right, after these two people, go. It's time. Nope, the mini's gonna take our turn. That's it. You got yes, 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 yes. Move through. Assert yourself. All right. Dog, I'll take it. That was sick. That was great. So this drive is friggin' insane. We had one hard break right at the beginning that, in my opinion, was was dumb. Um, and other than that, like zero intervention, zero disengagement. And the thing that's special about these version 12 zero intervention drives, I've had a few on older versions. But there were always multiple points where I'm like, oh, I want to hit the accelerator, but I'm not going to because I'm filming a video for you guys, blah, blah, blah. But I, I'm just letting you know I feel uncomfortable. I'm not getting that in these drives, like, almost at all. <laughs> almost at all. It's just the car feels good the whole time. Is there maybe a gap I would take that the car doesn't? Sure. But it's not like this thing where it's waiting 10 years and I would have gone, you know, immediately. It's these things where it's like, yeah, so why are you turning left here? Like, I'll take it, but I don't know why you're doing that. Yes, show off, dude. Just show off. This is great. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is so much fun, but I'm going to have to find harder stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to find harder routes. <laughs> uh, you'll see me in the next video.